evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big-time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for a much-anticipated main event. Eight rounds, light heavyweights. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. He's making his way to the ring right now, and you can just see in his eyes what his intentions are tonight. Diesel's ring walks have become the stuff of legend, and you can see the intensity on his face. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment and now they get it. Round one underway. Teddy, if you were training one of these two fighters, <laughs> boxer or brawler, where would you have more confidence that you could pull off the win? With which guy? I always feel better with the boxer because Usually somewhere deep inside himself, if he has to fight, he's going to fight. That's what fighters do. Gets rid of that effort. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Teddy, you saw that coming. You said he was waiting for that. Yeah, what he was doing was he was just pulling that shoulder back a little bit. Trying to throw that right hand, pull that shoulder back, be a ghost a little bit. Disappear on him, come back with the right hand. the headshot but he parries it away 90 seconds to go here in this round and now just wasting away some time with Keep that going. clinch <laughs> blocks that belt line well Well, nowadays, we have so many different weight classes. Used to be only eight weight classes. Now, with all the super and juniors attached to every weight class, you can go up and down the scale with ease throughout your career. Is that good for the game? No, I don't really think it is because you're making it too easy for the fighters. You know, I'm not saying that it's not good that they have an alternate to a weight class, but a lot of times when you make things easy, they're going to go for the path that is easier. In other words, somebody should be a middleweight. Now, all of a sudden, they're going to be a light heavyweight. They're going to be a super middleweight. Where with a little discipline, they would have fit into that middleweight frame. It wasn't that they couldn't make it. Now, you make it so easy, they don't want to make it. Great movement to get away from those punches. Last 10 seconds of this first round. This round comes to an end, a round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice 
can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him you get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. To Just say to him, hey, listen, shot. you're going to catch him. Me. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. some damage but he gave some back with the right hand and he ties up on the inside diesel's defense is it ever good look at how easy he's able to block those punches Another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight. He's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Halfway through round number two. <laughs> he is not in good Finish shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Boy, I know he's not in great shape, but all of a sudden he's doing a very good job of defending himself. You know, it's a funny thing. He's fighting on instincts, and sometimes that's a good thing. You don't want to get hurt to get there, but you want to get there. Right now he's doing things without thinking, naturally. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Diesel. To the head he goes with a left hand. So we come to the end of the round. And that was a round that was very productive for him. Now he heads back to his corner. And they're going to try to repeat the success they just had, I'm sure. Yes, he heard his opponent there. He's going to want to go back to what he was doing. And remember what set up those big shots. This is yours. You hear me? Escuches. This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Keep throwing punches. Relax. 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 Diesel's corner did a good job during those 60 seconds between rounds. And you can tell that he's a fresh fighter, not the fighter that was clearly dazed in the last round. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Let's go. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind, make a miss. Make him pay. Good biting, snapping shot by Diesel. He snaps a jab.
Tried the hook, didn't get it. And he's holding. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. How about that left hand? And now he scores well with a straight right. Diesel's basically giving you the impression that he's a little tentative to throw punches based on what happened earlier when he got hurt. Yeah, he's got to find a way now to not give up the offense that he had earlier. He wants to go into a defensive mode a little bit, but if he gives up that offense, he'll fall too far behind and get to that no man's land where he'll need a knockout to win, and he doesn't have that kind of power. Last 10 seconds of round number three. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. You're winning this fight. If I've got out, just keep doing what you're doing, and you've got... You need to throw more punches out there. You got me? He's out working. You're stronger than him. Let's let him feel those punches. You gotta bring it to him, kid. We're not winning this fight right now. Diesel's up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished himself to any great amount so far. This is brilliant defense we're seeing here every which way. Blocking punches, moving well, parrying punches away. Yeah, he's doing a great job. Now he has to connect the offense a little bit better. Now he ties up there. Watch that! Crashes home with a hook. Work the left hand to the head. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Halfway through round number four. Nowhere close that punch by Diesel. Diesel showing that he has an understanding about balance, about angles, about footwork. What does his opponent need to understand to deal with it? Well, he has to figure out a way to take the air out of those tires. Give him a couple flats. That's what he's got to do. And there's no better way to give a guy a flat than to go to that body. Oh, what a whiff by Diesel. Do that again! That's what I like to see!
Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. Stay away from those. Come on. And that's the end of round four. Diesel's taking a rest between rounds here, and as he does, it gives us a chance to look at the fight overall, because I think now that what you have is a good, really strong, evenly matched fight that he's up on. Yeah, I think so, but he shouldn't think that. You know, it's okay for us to think that, and his trainer, more importantly, shouldn't let him think that. He should tell him, this is where a little psychology 101 might come in. You know, I don't say you tell him you're behind, but you say, hey, it's a dead even fight. Win the rest of these rounds. Start of this round, start to the second half of this fight. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gambler. You know, they don't pay off at halftime. <laughs> remember, remember the guy wanted to collect Absolutely. his bets? Well, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? Now hugging on the inside. He's all over the place. I mean, he's missing punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top. You know, we look at the punches going array. They're going left, they're going right, they're going all over the place. But look downstairs. His feet are not set. He's falling all over the place. But guess what? The punches follow where his feet are. Takes one, but nice. gives one. Good work by Diaz. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Good look at right hand after he got hit. <laughs> Took a shot, now he gives a left. Diesel's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when a guy's elusive, like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punches up. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Ten seconds to go in this round. Keep working the body. End of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you search into those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself, places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them. Find him quick. The start of the sixth round.
He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Diaz. I don't like this at all, Teddy. I mean, it's one thing to stand toe to toe. It's another thing to never even move. You got to show some movement. Maybe he's breaking down. Maybe he's already spit the bit. You know, if he falls down, everybody in the world's going to know that he let himself fall down. He gave up. But there's different ways, different phases of giving in. And this might be one of those phases. Oh, he just... Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. Get him, get him. Hey, 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 let's go. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. And round six comes to an end. Diesel's in a position now where he should be able to bring home a win. If things stay the way they are, he's clearly headed towards a win. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, but he has to make sure he doesn't, like in football, go into that prevent defense. If he starts just moving, just staying away a little bit, now the things that were keeping his opponent from coming in that front door, well, guess what? They're not there no more. His opponent could get back into this fight. like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Nice block by Diesel. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Able to show you his blocking ability. That's okay. Pay him back. Diesel's really impressing us here. Defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. I see it. But, Teddy, you got to appreciate like what, what he's doing with there. defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why you can say that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit. You got to see that come in. Let's go. At the halfway point of round seven. I shake it off. Go get it.
He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Diesel. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. You want to win? You work too hard for this. We just go out and throw some punches. Keep smart. This is it. Last round, all right? Keep it smart. You got it. All right, listen. We need to create more counters, okay? Slip his punch and then throw a straight right down the middle. You know, it's not always as simple as who throws more punches as we start round number eight and we look at your scorecard. Diesel's been the more effective fighter. The punches he is throwing, those punches are getting things accomplished. And he's also proven something that I've said before, that sometimes aggression is a state of mind. You know, it's not really a physical state. And that's what he's doing. You know, he's fainting him a little bit. He's controlling the outside. He's not always walking forward. But he's doing what he wants to do and making his opponent do what he wants him to do. Side to side. Keep working the body. Unable to land clean by Diesel. Able to cover up that gut. Just a minute and a half left in the fight. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. <laughs> final minute of the final round. up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Back to the body. So swiftly able to turn deep into offense, nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Do that again! Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. Able to get away from that headshot lock. Just keep moving. A consistently strong performance tonight. You don't have to be a calculus major to score this one. Just put those ten nines together. And our ring announcer is standing by with the official decision. This was a sure and steady effort by Diesel tonight, and it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win. It was how. Was it going to be a knockout or a unanimous decision? We Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.